Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we simplify complex computer science research for you. Today we are exploring groundbreaking method known as Neural Radiance Fields or NERF which has set new standards in synthesizing novel views of complex scenes. This method is developed by researchers from UC Berkeley, Google Research and UC San Diego. Overview NERF represents a scene using a fully connected deep network taking a continuous 5D coordinate consisting of spatial location XYZ and viewing direction theta and phi as input and outputting the volume density and the view dependent emitted radiance at that spatial location. This method synthesizes views by querying 5D coordinates along camera rays and employs classic volume rendering techniques to project the output colors and densities into an image. The methodology for this is scene representation. Nerf represents a static scene as a continuous 5D function outputting the radiance emitted in each direction at each point in space and a density at each point, acting like a differential opacity. It optimizes a deep, fully connected neural network or MLP to represent this function, regressing from a single 5D coordinate to a single volume density and view dependent RGB color. The rendering process for this is to render this neural radiance field from a particular viewpoint, camera rays are marched through the scene to generate a sample set of 3D points. These points and the corresponding 2D viewing directions are used as input to the neural network to produce an output set of colors and densities. Classical volume rendering techniques are then used to accumulate these colors and densities into a 2D image. The way we optimize this is, the rendering process is naturally differentiable, allowing the use of gradient descent to optimize the model by minimizing the error between each observed image and the corresponding views rendered from the representation. This encourages the network to predict a coherent model of the scene by assigning high volume densities and accurate colors to the locations that contain the true underlying scene content. Then we do some positional encoding. NERF uses a positional encoding to map each input 5D coordinate into a higher dimensional space, enabling the optimization of neural radiance fields to represent high frequency scene content. This encoding is crucial for the network to represent high frequency variations in color and geometry effectively. Then we do hierarchical volume sampling. NERF uses a hierarchical sampling procedure to reduce the number of queries required to adequately sample this high frequency scene representation. It optimizes two networks simultaneously, one coarse and one fine, allocating more samples to regions expected to contain visible content, increasing rendering efficiency. The results and impact of this is that NERF has demonstrated that it quantitatively and qualitatively outperforms state-of-the-art view synthesis methods. It is the first to present a continuous neural scene representation capable of rendering high-resolution photorealistic novel views of real objects and scenes from RGB images captured in natural settings. This method is particularly impactful for applications in virtual reality, 3D modeling, and computer graphics where synthesizing realistic novel views of complex scenes is crucial. In conclusion, NERF, with its innovative approach to representing scenes and synthesizing novel views, has paved the way for advancements in view synthesis and neural rendering. It leverages the power of neural networks and volume rendering techniques to create coherent and high-resolution representations of complex scenes, making it a pivotal development in the field of computer science and 3D rendering. Thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of neural radiance fields. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on groundbreaking computer science research. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy learning.